If you're gonna have fish for dinner, you might as well have moist, flaky, tender, buttery, delicious Chilean sea bass. Am I right? And if you're gonna cook it, and you're not gonna grill it, and you're gonna cook it in an oven, you might as well cook in a wood-fired oven. This is Mace Windu. Mace is my Toscana wood-fired oven from La Piazza Wood Ovens. So we're gonna build a small fire in this wood-fired oven here. We don't need to get hot like we're cooking pizza. We're just gonna build a fire that can get us to about 450 degrees, which will be enough for us to cook fish. So I'm gonna start with this log cabin set up with these relatively small splits. I feel the need, the need for... I'm gonna open up the flue about halfway and put the cover on. I'll be back when the oven's at 450 degrees. With the oven at 450 degrees, let's adjust our fire. So for this cook, I'm gonna want the fire over on the side here. And I'm gonna want a fire that spreads kind of the full length of the oven from front to back. So I'm moving all these coals over and then I'm gonna use the pizza peel to go ahead and put a couple more pieces of wood on top of my fire over in the corner and over here on the side. Now I'm not gonna need the andiron for this cook. This is something you've seen in other cooks that I use to isolate the fire, but here we're gonna use the whole oven. So let's go ahead and brush the ash back and clean up the floor. All these tools, by the way, are from La Piazza, just like the oven, and you get discounts. Uh, I'm gonna put a code on the screen now and in the description with the link. Make sure you use those, save a couple of bucks if you wanna get something like this. So while we're working on our fish, we're gonna let a couple of things cook in here because I'm gonna show you guys how to make a sauce that will make your friends think you went to culinary school. It even sounds fancy. It's called a roasted pepper coulis. So while those peppers are roasting in the fire, I've got some uh, garlic that I peeled earlier, and then I'm gonna put some olive oil in just to cover. And we're gonna leave this in the oven, and that's gonna do kind of a confit. We're gonna cook the garlic cloves in the olive oil. So while those peppers roast, I'm gonna just do a fine chop on an onion real quick. So this half a white onion, putting into a cast iron skillet. We're gonna douse it in avocado oil, and let's go get this in the oven. Now you see our peppers are starting to char. So we're just gonna turn these and move them around in there. And we're gonna turn them so that we're charring every side. Give our onions a quick little stir. I'm just gonna slide this in here to preheat as well. All right, let's go look at our fish. This is one piece of Chilean sea bass. Now you can see that there's this seam down here. Luckily, the fishmonger I got these from actually removed the spine and the bones. If you get one piece that doesn't have this in there, then you're literally just gonna cut a V right in here and just pull those out. There's no use trying to pull the bones out. So you wanna make sure your surface is really dry anytime you're cooking fish. And then we're just gonna season it with a little bit of salt. And that's it. Let's see how our peppers are doing. All right, some of these peppers are more done than others. We wanna to get to the point where we've got a complete char all the way around. See, I've got one spot left here. I'm gonna put that spot towards the fire. Same thing here. That side looks like it still needs some work. You can see our garlic is cooking really well in here. All right, so you see how soft these are? I'm gonna pull these off, put them on the cutting board. Now I'm just gonna put a glass bowl over top of these so that they steam and cool off in here. And you're gonna see when this is done steaming after about five minutes, the skin's gonna come off really easy. You can see here our onions are starting to brown. We're getting close with the Maillard reaction here. The garlic continues to confit. We're gonna put a little bit of avocado oil on our plancha here. And I'm gonna start the fish meat side down. Okay, if you guys could smell this. So now what I'm gonna do is just pull the 
charred outer skin right off of here and it just comes off with my fingers. I just wanna pull all this char out and then I'm gonna pull the stem, throw that away. I'm gonna pull the seeds out. I don't need those. See how soft this is? How many times have you had a roasted red pepper or roasted yellow pepper sauce? Now you can do it yourself. All I did was put it next to the fire. You can do this on your charcoal grill. You can do it in a wood oven. And then we're just gonna break this into pieces and throw this into a jar for our blender. All right, at this point, our fish is not sticking, which means it's ready to be flipped. Well, we're gonna finish it on the skin side to crisp that skin up. Now let's pull our garlic and our perfectly cooked onions. All right, so I've got six cloves of garlic. I'm gonna put three of them in with the red and three of them in with the orange pepper. And I'm gonna put half of my onions in with the red and the other half in with the orange pepper. Now, this is a cool device that came with my Vitamix. They're not a sponsor. I'm not pushing the Vitamix, but this is pretty cool. It's made for uh, them vegans and how they juice, but I like to use it to make sauces. Red pepper coulis and an orange pepper coulis. Right, let's see how we're looking here. Oh, that looks delicious. We're at 137. We really want to get this up to about 150. So we're gonna let it go a little bit longer. I'm just gonna turn it. We've got maybe another three or four minutes in there. You guys saw how easy that was, right? Some peppers, some garlic, some onion, the fish just salt, boom, wood. I didn't show you cutting up the green onions, but that's just for garnish, but it's pretty, right? All right, I apologize that, uh, oh wait, I do have an extra fork. I've got one for you. All right, which piece you guys want? This piece, uh, how about right here? A little bit of the red pepper, a little bit of onion, and a little bit of the orange pepper here. That's for you. All right, you grab it. I'll put it right here for you. And I'm gonna grab my piece from this side. I'm gonna get a little bit of skin. Mm. All right, you guys gotta try this. The fish is buttery. You can definitely taste the wood from the wood-fired oven. The peppers and the onion and the garlic, this sauce, guys, you saw how easy this was. You can do this at home. And after you do, watch this video next. I think you're really gonna like it. And I'll see you next time on Eat More Vegans.